Hey everybody, welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here today to do your mid-month check-in for your career and finance. This is for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you're returning, then welcome back. And I'd just like to thank you for all of your likes, your subscribes, and your wonderful comments. I truly appreciate your energy. And um, let's have a look and see where we go here. Message for Taurus, please. What do we need to know for the month ahead? This is for January 16th through February 15th, 2021, just so you know. All right, let's see where we go. And we have love, all right. And of course, love can absolutely appear in a career and finance reading. It's very important to love what you do. All right, love what you do and come home with a smile on your face instead of in a cranky mood. That's always good. All right, messages for Taurus, please. Career and finance. I can learn to prioritize my intentions. All right. And just so you know, I'm just going to pull all of your cards and then we'll go deeper into the messages, into the finer details, all right? So, messages for Taurus, please. Career and finance for the month ahead. What do we need to know, please? Okay, so the first one is going to be your current situation. All right. And we have the Page of Pentacles, okay. So, some of you either have a message coming in or you're starting a new adventure, a new job. All right, let's look at what's crossing you, your challenge. And we have the Seven of Wands. All right, interesting, because that came up in exactly that same position for Virgo. So you might have Virgo in your chart or dealing with a Virgo. So you might want to check out that reading also. Your goals, your aspirations, what are you striving for? We have Justice. All right, beautiful energy there. You're looking for balance. That's the energy of Libra. Advice from Spirit. We have the Three of Pentacles, all right? And then your outcome energy is the Nine of Swords. And we'll pull another one with that. The Nine of Wands. The Two of Swords, okay. All right, let's see where we go here. So we have, uh, I can learn to prioritize my intentions. This is the Law of Attraction deck. It is important for you to identify which intentions you want, you most want to fulfill because as you prioritize, you give singular attention to what is most important. And as you give your singular attention by the law of attraction, you attract power to that intention that is most important to you. All right, so uh, if you're trying to manifest a whole bunch of things at the same time, right? You want this, 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 and this. Try and focus on one thing at a time, okay? Otherwise, you um, you need that clear focus to bring in what you truly desire. So we have love. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, only love itself, all right? This is love for what you do, love for yourself. Um, this is um, uh, following your dreams, okay? Even in a career, we do need emotional fulfillment as well, okay? So... So your current situation, we have the Page of Pentacles. So the pages, um, the pages in tarot, they can either be uh, messengers, all right? So some of you, if you've been looking for a new job, a promotion, a new investment opportunity, you might have a message coming in for you at some point this month, all right? Um, or you're expecting to hear back from something, right? You're, um, you know, maybe you've put out a lot of resumes, um, or you've had a couple of interviews and you're waiting for uh, you're waiting for that good news. All right. Um, and the page of pentacles here can indicate that that message might be coming in for you. All right. Some of you, um, some others, you may um, just be starting on a new financial journey. You may have started a new job already. OK. Or you're about to. Um, and this is that energy of you need to. Uh, Take the opportunity and move forward with it. Focus your energy and uh, stay the course, okay? Stay the course with that energy because the pages, it's the start of something new, but it's very much in its infancy, 
Okay, so some of you could be starting a new job in um, uh, a new industry, a new company, um, or I, or it could also just be that promotion into um, uh, something that promises to maybe be a little bit more financially rewarding. Some of you could also um, have just started your own business with this energy as well, and it's just in the very beginning stages with that. All right. Your challenge is your seven of wands. So this is a defensive, uh, a little bit of a defensive measure with this energy. It's like um, uh, almost like protective mode. All right. There's a lot of obstacles to overcome. And but you're standing up for yourself. You're firm in your determination and your beliefs. And it's like you're not going to let anyone shake you down. You're not going to let anybody um, destroy your vision. All right, and shake your uh, your determination and your drive. All right, so um, but that's your that's your challenge, right? So um, if you feel yourself wavering a little bit, and of course, if you are just starting on something new, and you might feel like you're on, on a little bit of shaky ground, right? So getting that um, that drive and that determination there is um, uh, is going to be a little bit important for you. So. Um, stay the course and stay focused and keep moving forward. All right. Our advice from spirit here. Our advice from spirit is the three of pentacles. Okay. So you might need to collaborate with other people. You might need to ask for help. All right. You um, three of pentacles is about building your foundation and um, um, working to uh, working to improve your situation. All right. So. Um, if you're working on a new project, okay, you might need to work with others, all right? You might even need to learn something, right? So maybe if you're a little bit out of your element here with this page of pentacles, all right, doing something that maybe you've never done before, um, you might need to reach out and ask someone for help or guidance, okay? There's nothing wrong in that, all right? You could also be the one in a leadership position teaching other people or, um, you know, having other people work for you towards a common goal. So this is about collaboration, about building your foundation. Okay. So, um, but it, it's one that involves other people. All right. So if you need help, ask for the help. Okay. From someone that maybe is a little bit more experienced than you are. All right. There's no shame in that. So that's the ad advice from spirit. So what you're striving for, what you want, your goals, you just want something fair, okay, with this justice card. This is about balance. Um, this is about good karma. Um, you've probably been through a bit of a battle, all right? Maybe you've lost your job. Um, maybe your business is struggling. Um, you know, you're, you know you're, you're, you're coming out of some hard times. I mean, a lot of people are with 2020, okay, but, um, but you just you just want what's fair for you, right? You're not asking for the world. You're not asking for the moon. You're not asking for, you know, a uh, million dollars to miraculously land in your bank account, although that would be nice. You just want something fair. You want your just rewards, right? You've, you know, you're like, oh, I always get the short end of the stick. And, you know, so you're, you're not asking for anything that you don't deserve, okay? Just balance and fairness. You're not greedy, all right? In this energy, you're not greedy, Okay, you're just you're just wanting fairness. Um, so let's just clarify justice, please. Let's clarify justice. Three of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Moon. All right. So you are willing. You are willing to face your fear here, right? We have the Moon. The Moon is about illumination. It can be about facing your fears. Okay. Revealing your fears to yourself, all right, with that energy. Um, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is new ideas, new communication. This is also, can also sometimes be messages. The Page of Swords, it's also, though, um, a bit of unfocused energy, okay? Um, unfocused uh, thoughts, okay? Something new, something just on the horizon, but something that hasn't totally taken shape or form yet so i think you have like this idea brewing right so we do have two pages 
coming out for you. So there's certainly something in its infancy for you here. So whether that's that new job or promotion, or if this is even you starting your own business, right? You're like, okay, I have this idea. I'm willing to move forward with it. I'm committed. All right. I just need to focus my energy. All right. And we have the three of cups coming out here as well. And that's that celebration, collaboration. It's um, uh, an energy of being social, but it's also that um, emotional fulfillment, contentment, right? Something that makes you jump for joy, go out for drinks with friends, right? So, um, you know, so you don't want too much here, right? You don't want too much. You're willing to work, right? You're willing to work. You're willing to learn something new. You're willing to do something that freaks the crap out of you, to be quite honest. It also feels here with that... Um, uh, with the moon together with the page of swords that um, perhaps you've previously been dealing with some people or a situation that maybe weren't as they seem all right because the moon is also um, uh, also about um, tapping into your intuition okay and um, being able to see things for what they are right illuminating the truth of a situation and the pages the pages the page of swords specifically can sometimes be someone who maybe kind of does things um willy-nilly and um they might be so eager um eager to um make a mark for themselves or eager to get noticed right the page of swords is like the lurker of the tarot okay so sometimes the page of swords they the ideas aren't always their own okay not not necessarily always truthful all right but um, um not really kind of like malicious or anything but just out of um um uh, not quite innocence either uh it's not really the word i'm looking for um uh, just out of, uh, the word will come to me in a minute. Um, <laughs> sorry, the word will come to me in a minute. It's there. Um, anyways, but there, it's not really malicious and it's not like, uh, like calculated. Um, it's almost like a little bit, um, like accidental, like, because they don't really think things through. Okay. That, that type of energy, they don't really think things through. It's like, they might hear something somewhere and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, Hey, I have a great idea, but it's really not theirs. And they just don't really think anything of it. They don't really think twice. Right. So it feels like some of you may have had that kind of situation in the past, right. Where maybe someone wasn't entirely truthful. And now you're like, no, I've learned a few things here. Right. I know how to see through everyone else's bullshit and you know this is I see the truth for everything and I'm not afraid of it okay but again you just want your just rewards there all right now <clears throat> your outcome energy this is very interesting okay very interesting so we have the nine of swords and the nine of wands so the nine of swords uh, this has to do with your thoughts right and this is about your anxiety Okay, being um, being awake at night, your mind is racing. Um, you have a little bit of anxiety uh, about anything. Okay, and maybe this new venture that you're on, um, it does give you that anxiety, and you're like, "Oh my God, I'm worried." Um, but there's no real need to be because that is also the Nine of Swords is also that energy of being worried needlessly. Okay, both the eight and nine of swords are kind of like self-sabotage energy. All right, but this also has the wise old owl flying in. Okay, and it's a white owl as well. So it's peace, peace and wisdom. So listen to your intuition, all right, to move forward because you know exactly what to do. So overcome your fear, your anxiety, your hesitation. All right, the nine of wands is also about, um, it's, uh, a little bit more action oriented, granted while standing in one place, the nine of wands, you're, you're almost at that ending where you can release your, your worry and your fear and your doubt. Okay. You're in a little bit of a defensive mode here because maybe you've been through, you've probably been through some crappy stuff previously, especially if that justice card is coming out for what your, your goals are. 
Okay. So you might just feel that need to just um, protect what you've built, protect your ideas. Okay. Nine of Swords is also about ideas. Um, maybe you don't really want to share a lot with other people. And again, we, you know, with that moon coming out and just as it feels like maybe for some of you, someone has previously stolen your ideas, you know, you're sitting in a boardroom or something, or you're in your office and all of a sudden someone presents some great idea to your boss and you're standing there in the corner going, what the hell? That was my freaking idea, right? So you might want to protect your thoughts and your ideas with this energy, right? You just, it's not quite a trusting energy. So even though you're on the start of new vendor, you just don't trust entirely that uh, things are going to work out. And you do have a little bit of a conundrum here, okay, with this two of swords. So the two of swords can be at a crossroads, all right? You might need to make a decision um, between two different paths, okay? So some of you could have um, two different avenues to go down. Um, but this can also just be you taking that moment out and um, making not just calculated decisions, but also ones that um, use your intuition, okay? Because we do have intuition coming out here for you, especially with the moon, all right? Um, so you are tapped into your intuition. So it feels like here that you can alleviate your own fears by quieting your mind and going within and finding your way forward. So that'll allow you to overcome obstacles. All right. That'll allow you to overcome obstacles in your path and find your way forward. All right. So I'm just going to clarify this two of swords. Clarify this two of swords for me, please. Ten of wands. Ten of wands again. I'm telling you, almost every reading I'm getting that Ten of Wands coming out. Two of Pentacles, okay? And the Three of Pentacles again. All right. So, <clears throat> so here. So we have the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands, okay? So your burdens, your stress, your, um, uh, you know, it's, it's coming to an end, okay? So you're almost at that end of a cycle. So protective mode sure but you know what keep on going because the end is near tens are an ending but they're also a new beginning and that ten of wands is things are about to get better for you a weight is about to be lifted off of your shoulders okay um you're keeping on moving forward and it's been one hell of a struggle all right but there is new there is that end of that cycle coming in so set your boundaries okay two of swords can sometimes also be uh a little bit of setting your boundaries but almost with yourself though okay and um and again you're listening to that intu intuition of yours right you're not making any sudden moves with this energy that's for sure okay so the ten of wands um set some boundaries right um you know leave behind what doesn't work leave behind your stress and your worry okay so that you can move forward with clear train of thought and clear uh, clear conscience, right? Because we are working for justice there. Okay. Um, the two of pentacles. Okay. This can represent a couple of things. This could be uh, two different job offers that are coming in. Okay. Two of swords. And you're like, oh my God, do I do this or do I do this? Do I do the one that uses my brain, my intellect, my logical way of thinking, or do I do the one that, um, that with that wands energy, that passion and that fire and that creativity. So it could be that kind of energy and you trying to decide between two different job opportunities or directions. Okay. Cause the two of swords is also about choosing a direction, right? So at some point you might have, a um, choose what path to follow. Okay, the two of pentacles can also be about you juggling multiple priorities and you make it look easy, but in reality, you do have a little bit of um, a little bit of turmoil behind you, but you don't show that to the world. Okay, it feels like you're a little bit secretive um, and you just take on the world and you just keep on going and you keep on juggling everything. But again, that is about to uh, your cycle is coming to a close with that. All right. So, but if that's you um, with two potential job opportunities, awesome. Or investment opportunities for that matter. And here's the thing. We have the three of pentacles coming out again. All right. Again for you. So I love this. I like the three of pentacles energy. So not only is it advice from spirit, but it's also in your outcome position as well. So no matter what path you choose, 
all right? You still have that ability to make a strong, solid foundation for yourself, okay? Um, you, um, it, you'll still need to work hard, okay? I mean, hey, it, they wouldn't call it work if you didn't have to work hard, right? But you do have that ability, so it's like whatever path you choose, whatever direction you choose to go in, okay, there is some financial reward there for you. And um, there also is that opportunity for expansion in this particular card. He's actually working on his fourth pentacle. Okay, so um, it's achieving, it's working towards uh, success, working towards a level of mastery and that foundation and that stability that you're looking for. Okay, so and it feels like there's not really a wrong choice for you here so just continue to listen to your intuition because justice is in your favor here okay law law of um it's the karma okay karma so if anyone's done you wrong you know what it's none of your business um you know karma will karma will find them eventually okay but the scales will be balanced in your favor okay and there is quite a bit of balancing going on here in your reading um some of you might have Pisces in your chart with the moon uh, coming up there, just so you know. Um, it's also interesting that that is our only major arcana. Actually, no, it's not. We have justice as well. So both major arcana are coming up in your um, in your goals position, okay? So I feel that you're pretty in touch with your intuition at the moment as well, okay? And so for if you... Um, uh, justice is also the 11 card, so new beginnings, right? I'm not sure if I said that already. Um, we do have a few threes coming out for you. We have three, three, three. Okay, we have two nines as well, so 99, and we have two twos, so we have master number 22 coming out for you as well. So there'll be addi additional messages. Um, look up the uh, additional meanings of those numbers. I could go through them all with you, but we'll be here forever. So, um, but anytime uh, I look them up too, right? So, um, and every time I do, there's additional messages there for me. So uh, you might want to do the same thing. So I'm going to leave your reading there. Okay. It looks like you're making some strides and you're moving forward. Okay. Trust that intuition of yours. Okay. And trust that things are getting better and that it looks like you're going to have options as well. Right. And take that new opportunity here and go with it. Focus your energies and run with it. So last messages. Let's see what else we have for you. <clears throat> excuse me and we have it's up to you all right it's up to you this is a reminder from spirit that you have all the tools that you need all right intellectually creatively passionately intuitively to be successful and to move forward all right just that little confidence boost there for you right it's up to you you have everything your possibilities are unlimited all right use all the tools at your disposal to be success or be successful all right, so I'm going to leave your reading there. Um, hopefully there was messages in here for you that help move you forward. Um, if so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It lets me know that you resonate with your re with my readings. And um, don't be afraid to comment either. I like reading your comments. I like to see how these uh, energies are playing out for you through the month. All right, so I uh, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.